I get an incredible rush going down the mountain nowadays. I, I have never experienced mountains like these before I came out to Utah. And um, to be so close to the ground, whether I'm on a one-off hand cycle or I'm on a mono ski, it's just an incredible exhilaration. My name is Jonathan Leonard and I live in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. I was 24 years old when the car accident actually happened. What actually put me in the wheelchair was uh, a four car pileup on a highway. It was pretty crazy. I was airlifted by helicopter to the nearest hospital. I spent three, the next three weeks in a drug induced coma. Um, and when I was cognitively aware, uh, I spent the next three weeks after that, so six weeks total in a rehab unit. For the next five years after that, after I was released from the hospital, it was really uh, an uphill battle of getting back on my feet, so to speak. Um, you know, getting my wheels back independent, being able to take care of myself again. I was dealing with a lot of pain, a lot of uh, rehabilitation, you know, just learning how to work my new body, basically. The hardest part after the accident was probably just sitting up, you know, getting back into my wheelchair. Um, I had about like uh, 25 staples all down from my sternum to my pelvic region, you know, uh, so it really hurt doing anything. I'm now paraplegic from T10 to L2. There's a spinal sever in there, and that makes me fully paraplegic from the waist down. It took me a good three years before I was finally comfortable enough to start getting out and around and, and starting to take back my life and doing the things how I used to do them. Today we're going to be remodeling the house and possibly going on a bike ride later at the Temple Quarry Trail. You want to help me lay the board down so we can cut it? We're going to cut it for this piece at uh, 5 feet and a sixteenth of an inch. Where I saw myself was back on my bike again, you know, and out there riding the hills or doing whatever it was that I was doing. I, I, I always feel the need to go faster, to do more, to push more, for more out of myself. Um, so I'm never satisfied with where I'm at. I've been with Wasatch Adaptive since since this last winter. They they got me started with uh, mono skiing, and I had never even heard of a mono ski before. There's all sorts of adaptive equipment that that helped me uh, be as independent as possible. My name is Eileen May West and I am the program director for Wasatch Adaptive Sports. Our mission is to help our students reach their goals in recreation. We want them to figure out what they want to do, reach their potential, and ultimately live active lives. I, I never actually skied before I came out to Salt Lake, Utah. And I called in there, I said, is this something that, I, that a person in a wheelchair could get into? I was working at our Snowbird office one winter day and one of our staff said, hey, this guy called and I think he might be here, but he's gonna come in and check it out. A little while later, Jonathan comes into our office and didn't really know who he was, asked if he had a lesson. He said, no, I just wanna know if I can ski. And um, we spent the next little bit just showing him our skis. He had a ton of questions and was super pumped and said, okay, now what, when can I go? He skied with us that whole season and um, I think experienced every range of success and failure as anyone does when they're learning how to ski um, and he's crushing it now in our biking program. Wasatch Adaptive Sports has helped me build my, my abilities so I'm not so reliant on others. They've allowed me with their adaptive equipment to be able to experience experiences like I've never even dreamed of. I love it, the sense of independence is just uh, there's, there's, it's second to nothing. Um, it makes me feel like I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't wish doom or, or anything upon anybody, but I wish that, that some people would be able to have a day in my shoes and, and they would be able to see that it's not so bad, that, that life is good and you, know, you can love people and, and have this whole different perspective. Thank you.